Welcome to my channel please like, share and subscribe, so you will be the first to view latest informations. In a column for the conservative bulwark, longtime lawyer Philip Rotner defined that, primarily based upon current events, the most probably motive Donald Trump may serve time in penitentiary will be due to his fake elector scheme. Noting a current flurry of subpoenas that have been issued in the previous week to officers in more than one states, who have been phase of the scheme to change their state's proper electoral votes with their very own base totally on forced claims, the legal professional stated the Department of Justice is following the right path if they favor to indict the former president. As Rotner wrote, it appears like Trump has continuously averted paying for his crimes, but, if he had to put cash on it, that streak will quit with costs over the election theft gambit. The phony elector scheme is now searching greater every day like wait for it Trump's Watergate. Yes, Nixon was an incumbent while Trump is out of office, however reflect on consideration on the parallels. Federal investigators are aggressively on the case, as soon as once more assisted by way of a relentless press, and public congressional hearings are once more producing one beautiful revelation after another, he wrote. Over a two-day duration remaining week, at least nine human beings in four extraordinary states reportedly obtained federal grand jury subpoenas in connection with the faux elector investigation. The recipients protected not solely some of the phony electors themselves however additionally aids to Mr. Trump's campaign. Federal dealers additionally accomplished search warrants directed at the chairman of the Nevada Republican Party and the party's secretary. The legal professional introduced that these developments blended with the focal point on Trump legal professional John Eastman, who is once currently on the receiving quid of a pre-dawn raid by the FBI, are extraordinarily awful information for the former president. As he notes, latest testimony from GOP officers undercuts the potential of Trump to say he had no understanding of the scheme. First, he can't convincingly argue that he didn't recognize about the scheme or that he didn't take part in it. Rana McDaniel's testimony has foreclosed that viable defense. Second, assuming that future proof corroborates Trump's expertise of and participation in the scheme, none of his welcoming defenses will work here, he wrote earlier than adding, perhaps Trump will try, as Rolling Stone suggested closing week, that he is thinking about whether or not to throw John Eastman underneath the bus. But the facts, at least as they have come to mild so far, advocate that Trump was himself conscious of and concerned in the scheme. And he can't severely argue that he relied on prison recommendation from Eastman or others, that forging election certificates and passing them off as authentic archives wasn't illegal. That's absurd on its face. Trump's whole purpose grasp protection but I without a doubt, believe the election was stolen won't work right here either. Belief that an election was tainted through fraud, no count number how deeply held, wouldn't excuse the crime of forging election certificates, and trying to pawn them off as respectable authorities documents. To the contrary, it would solely set up that Trump had a strong, if tortured, purpose to commit the crime, he delivered earlier than concluding, nobody has ever made any cash having a bet that the lengthy arm of the crook regulation will ultimately attain out and seize Donald Trump. But if Trump is ultimately indicted for any crime in connection with his tries to overturn the 2020 election, odds are this will be the